Did I ever tell you guys how much I hate my car? Cause right now, this car is being nothing but total disappointment. Now, first, on some good news, I finally bled my clutch. Now, when I bleed my clutch, I don't do the traditional way. I usually use one of these suckers. And I kind of ghetto rigged it to work because it broke when I first bought it and I didn't feel like taking it back. This thing right here doesn't suck anything. So I'm over here bleeding my clutch for 10 hours. So it took me a full day to realize that this thing don't even work. So Randy came over, he took me to AutoZone, he ran out the uh, that same thing for me and uh, three seconds later the whole clutch bled. I'm like, yeah man, I got my clutch bled. Turn the car on, car still sound the same, blah, 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 like it's finna blow up in it. Damn. Damn. Somebody needs a damn power steering belt. I go to crank the car, the car cranks fine, it does that blah, 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 crap that it always does when I crank it up. And Randy was like, yo, put the car in gear, man, see if it drives. And yeah, you guys already know what I'm about to say. The car didn't go into gear. We checked slave, we replaced two slaves, still won't go into gear. Got clutch pressure, check the master cylinder, check the clutch pedal, you know what I'm saying, alignment, still won't go into gear. Now this could be the problem. You see this? Like, it's not going all the way back to the passenger side. It only, like, right, like, I think it's loose. Robert said it's loose. Probably the, I think the clutch spring fork or whatever the hell that thing is called slipped off. And, yeah. So, yeah, man. Buying used motors can sometimes be a huge disappointment. But before I bought the motor, I went to the guy's house two days before to test out the car and everything. And everything was fine. None of the gears grinded. Nothing. The car drove beautiful. Sounded so healthy and beautiful. But when I get it, with my luck, of course, the car sounds like crap. Uh, and now the car won't go into gear. It, it's just, it, it's a, it's painful, man. It's painful. So if the thing's actually fork related, I should be good. And if it's not, I gotta drop the transmission and check the pilot bearing and all the other bull crap, flywheel crap. I hope I don't have to drop the transmission. Kirk, if you're watching this, please don't make me drop the transmission. <laughs> and to any of my car enthusiasts who actually work on cars and what the hell they're doing and stuff, if you think you know what the problem is with my car, please put it down in the comments below. Let a nigga know. Let a brother know, baby. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace. Subscribe to my channel. Be right. Hi, my name is Zosh, and this is going to be the first video on my reaction channel. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Now let's get into the video. <laughs> Hey, man, I got some on your back, though. Ah! 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 Oh, my God! Bobby, how do you smash your phone?